ladies, and welcome to Walking in Wellness Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Christina Carmen, and I'm so excited for today's show. We're going to talk all about cold and flu season. I know maybe you're not all excited about this show, but it's going to be fabulous because I think this is the season when everyone's like snuffly and coughing and spluttering and everything's going on, and they're just grumpy with the fact that they don't really have the tools to support their bodies. So first up, always, let's talk about food. Food is remarkable. And, you know, I know there's a lot of discussion on the fact that we're, you know, we're really, our soil is so depleted and yada, yada, you know, our food's traveling from lots of different places. Yes, there is all of those things to factor in. But even then, at the end of the day, we still need to be looking at food sources to support our immune system and to support our bodies. So what are some of the top foods that I would kind of incorporate when we have colds or flus or, you know, we're really, really feeling under the weather. First up is berries. So berries like, uh, look at blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries. These are incredible little powerhouses of antioxidants and they really help to reduce inflammation. So you think of a cold and a flu, this is an inflammatory response in the body to a pathogen. So this is a really important one to add in. Then also look at vitamin C rich foods. So citrus fruit, fruits like oranges, limes, grapefruits, melons, lemons, excuse me, um, are really loaded with vitamin C and they are the world's most powerful antioxidants. Also on this list here, I would add in like kiwis. I love kiwis. They're incredible, really super rich in, in vitamin C. They're also fiber rich, those lovely little black seeds in them. And then bell peppers and also look at cauliflower. Incredible. Then leafy greens. I know we talk all about leafy greens all the time, about adding more leafy greens into our diet, but for good reason. They're really, really high in vitamin A and vitamin C. And these are real, really, really important nutrients and vitamins that our bodies actually need during uh, you know, an accelerated immune response. Then let's look at fish or more importantly, your omega-3 essential fatty acids. So look at like salmon, sardine, mackerel, trout, anchovies. Um, and these are not always foods that we tend to gravitate towards, particularly when we're really feeling under the weather. So I will tell you guys a little bit of, you know, moving forward, we'll talk a little bit more about omega-3 supplementation. So I know, you know, it's not you know, not always the go-to foods, particularly when we're not feeling very well. The nuts and seeds. This is a uh, beautiful little powerhouses full of goodness. Um, but one of the impor important thing when it comes to nuts and seeds, particularly ones like, and zinc is really, really effective in uh, reducing the severity of coughs and colds. So an important nutrient to consider, you know, maybe even supplementing during your a cold and flu, but also really make sure that dietary sources of zinc are there, not only during a cold and flu, but just generally getting enough sleep. Now, I think we tend to be very much in a bit of a sleep deficit just as a society as a whole, because we're super stressed and we have a, you know, a lot of things on our shoulders that are weighing us down and we just simply don't prioritize sleep or quality sleep. And getting seven to nine hours of sleep is incredibly essential. Chronic stress, will damage your immune system. Full stop. This is so incredibly well studied and we know this now. I This last weekend, I was a, a very fortunately was invited by the FLCCC to be in Phoenix to talk all about our boosting our immune system. And we were discussing stress and actually stress and how it has a huge, huge, huge impact on our immune system as a whole. So, you know, I know that meditation and yoga may not be for everybody, but there are so many other things that we can do. So we have these incredible lungs that we carry with us all the time. So deep breathing exercises, you can do that anywhere, even if you're driving in the car, you know, or if you're standing in the queue at the airport, or even as you're writing emails, like it's just about bringing a little bit of more of that mindful energy into being aware of how we're responding to that stress. Certainly one of my goals for this year is to be better at resting and to be better at self-care and to really establish what does self-care mean to me? And maybe that's a conversation you can have with yourself. What does that mean to me? But, you know, it's about taking a break. And, you know, if you're feeling unwell, give yourself the time to, uh, to recover. You know, remember that you know, you can rest. You don't have to quit. Okay. There is a real, um, it's a real valuable skill that we need to learn that resting is actually okay. And there's no harm in that. You're not going to miss out on your life. You're not going to, um, you know, really affect anything. In fact, actually, I think 
if you give your yourself this time to rest and to, to take a pause, to take a step back, to reflect and self-reflect, we actually become so much more present and aware of what's happening in our lives that actually it's beneficial. So consider that. Now, I get this asked all the time, what are some of the nutrients um, or supplements that you can take while you have a cold? So some of my go-to ones tend to be, I think generally we have challenges with vitamin D anyways, particularly if we're living in Northern hemisphere countries during the winter, we're not getting enough from our sun, from the sunlight. And actually you need to expose very large parts of your body in order to get adequate amounts of vitamin D absorption from the sun. Look at probiotics. I mean, our immune systems are housed in our gut. So this is a very important one to look at, but also look at consuming probiotic rich foods. So now omega-3 fa essential fatty acids, we talked about this before. A huge, huge fan. You know, commonly these are. This is a nutrient or um, a, a you know a healthy fat that is found in fish oils, flaxseed, walnuts, but it and it plays a really crucial role overall for your overall health for so many different body pathways. Um, but it has a particular beneficial effect during a cold and a flu, um, really because of its an anti-inflammatory um, properties and immune modulating. And it's very supportive for respiratory health. So really consider that one. Now, the last little beautiful tip I'm going to leave you guys with is get outside and get fresh air. You know, stepping outside for air when, especially when you're suffering from a cold and flu is so beneficial. Um, you know, we spend so much time indoors and actually can be really stagnant and, and the air inside can be really stagnant. So, you know, get outside, you know, get some flow going. So the, so that even the concentration of the airborne pathogens and irritants within your home, you know, clears and moves past. So a beautiful one to consider and to add in there, um, to your lovely little arsenal of to, to look after yourself during cold and flu. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and for listening. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.